Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. So there can be various different ways using which you can install IntelliJ IDEA. I'm going to show you the way which I personally use and I feel that is the most efficient way uh, of installing IntelliJ IDEA. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for IntelliJ IDEA. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash IDEA. We are going to navigate this website just to verify which is the latest version at the time of making this video. So I'm going to click on this link here and then scroll down a little. You can see the download button. So I'm going to click on the download button. Now you might already know that IntelliJ IDEA comes in few different formats. First one is IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, which is the paid version of IntelliJ IDEA IDE. And then you can also install the community edition of IntelliJ IDEA, which is free to use and it's open source, right? Now, as you can see at the time of making this video, the version 2024.1.2 is the latest version. Here you can see I can also see that uh, the 2024.2 is coming soon at the time of making this video, right? So we want to install this version of IntelliJ IDEA IDE. But we are not going to uh, click on this download button, which is on the IntelliJ IDEA website. We are going to use a utility called Snap which is from Canonical, which is the developer of Ubuntu operating system also. And Snap is a package manager using which you can install various different tools, including IntelliJ IDEA on your Ubuntu operating system. So if you have the latest version of Ubuntu, it already comes with this Snap utility. Now, in order to uh, find out what are the versions which are available for uh, IntelliJ IDEA using Snap, you can open the terminal. To open the terminal, click on this uh, Show Apps icon and then click on Terminal, which is going to open the terminal for you. And here just write uh, Snap Find IntelliJ in double quotes yeah, and then press Enter. And it's going to show me all the versions which I can uh, install via Snap. So you can see the version which is available using the Snap is also 2024.1.2. This is the same version we have seen on the official website, which is the latest version. We are going to download the community version. So this is the name for that Snap package. You can also go to your favorite browser and search for Snap IntelliJ. And then you will see this website, which says snapcraft.io forward slash IntelliJ IDEA community. And when you click on this link, you can see how you can install the community version of IntelliJ using Snap. So click on this install button. And this is the command which you can use to install the community version of IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So I'm going to copy this command and then go to my terminal and then paste this command on my terminal. And this command is sudo snap install space IntelliJ IDEA community space hyphen hyphen classic. I'm going to press enter here and give my password which I used to log into my Ubuntu operating system and then press enter. And this is going to start the download and install of this IntelliJ IDEA IDE. It's not going to take too much time to install this IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So just wait for a few seconds until you see this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. You can also see the progress here. So right now it's 12, 13%, right? So just wait for this. And after a few seconds, you can see this message which says IntelliJ IDEA community from JetBrains is installed, right? So now IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been installed on our Ubuntu operating system. Now to verify uh, that IntelliJ IDEA is properly installed, we are going to uh, try to open IntelliJ IDEA and we are also going to see how we can create 
a Java project using IntelliJ IDEA. So for that, click on this show apps icon once again, and you can see the IntelliJ IDEA IDE icon here. You can also search for IntelliJ IDEA IDE and click on this icon here, which is going to start the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. And you can see the IDE has been started now. Now for the first time when you start IntelliJ IDEA, it's going to show you this kind of community edition terms and license uh, page. So if you agree with these terms and license conditions, then click on I confirm and then click on continue here. And then if you want to share data with IntelliJ IDEA, then click on send anonymous statistics. In my case, I don't want to do this. So I'm going to click on don't send here. Now in the next step, you can see if you have Visual Studio Code already installed, then you can also import some settings from Visual Studio Code editor. This I don't want to do. So I'm going to skip the import for now. And now I can see that IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been started on my Ubuntu operating system. So it's going to look something like this. To create a new Java project, you can click on the new project option here, and then you can create a Java project. So from the left hand side, you can select the language. I'm going to select the Java here, and the name of the project will be, let's say, hello here, and the location, will be your home folder forward slash idea projects. I'm going to leave it as default. If you want to use some version control like Git uh, version control, you can also uh, click or check this checkbox, which is going to create this repository. I'm going to leave it as default, which is unchecked. For the build system, I'm going to leave it as IntelliJ here. You can also choose Maven on Gradle from here. And in the JDK version, I can click on this drop down menu and then I can select the version of uh, IntelliJ IDEA, which I have on my Ubuntu operating system. So from here, you can see IntelliJ IDEA have already detected this version of uh, Java JDK on my uh, Ubuntu operating system, which is Oracle Open JDK and it's in my user forward slash live forward slash jvm forward slash jdk folder. So I'm going to select this version here. And then in the advanced setting, you can also select the module name, current root and module file location. I'm going to leave everything as default here and then click and then click on create here, which is going to create a Java project for me. And once this Java project is created, you can see uh, we have our hello uh, project here. And we also have the source folder under which we have the main class. And in this main class, we also have some sample code to test with, right? The sample code prints hello and welcome here and also loops through this for loop and will print the value up to the limit specified here. So let's try and build this uh, main class and let's see if everything works fine or not. Now to build your project and run your project, you can click on this hamburger menu, which is going to open this kind of uh, uh, menu items on the top. To build your project, you can click on build and then click on build project here, which is going to build your project. You can also see the progress uh, of your build here. You can click on this uh, progress bar and you will also see it on the bottom right corner also, right? You also have a few icons here. So you can see this uh, build icon, which, which is going to show you the logs for your build. So you can see when you click on this hammer icon, uh, you can see in my case, the build completed successfully in 28 seconds. So build is successful to run your code. Once again, click on this hamburger menu and then click on run and then click on uh, run main.java, which is going to run our code. And you can see our code ran successfully and it has printed hello and welcome and also printed the value is equal to I from one to five because of this for loop, right? So everything is working fine on IntelliJ IDEA IDE. 
you can also open the terminal from here so if you want to uh, build your project using the command line or the terminal you can also do this from here so we have successfully installed our IntelliJ IDEA IDE and built and compiled our first Java program using IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see and I will see you in the next video.